hello everyone welcome to excel problem solving series so for this particular video also i have a very interesting problem to solve so let us see what is the problem is saying so you can see below in the table candidate names are given so these are all the candidate names their department and the marks which they have scored so using the excel formula i want to rank each student in their department based on the marks they have got so you can see i have got the department names here biotech electrical mechanical chemical and the candidate names here and the marks they have obtained what do i need to do i want to rank each student in their department in their department basis on the marks they have got so within each department i need to rank all the students basis on the marks they have got so this is not an easy level problem so this cannot be solved using just the simple rank function which we have seen here so let us see how to solve this particular problem so to solve i make this problem very easy to understand i have this particular data set ready with me so i have prepared a small subset of data i have got this small subset of data from the same data set only and i have done this to make the logic very much simple and to make you understand this particular concept into very much simple way so let us see so into the very first column i have the department names so i have just taken two departments for this biotech and electrical and some of the student marks i have taken and also i provided the rank basis on the department and the marks which the students have got so let us first deal with the biotech uh, department here so into the biotech the marks is 181 121 and 146 so the students which have got the 181 marks the rank is one the student who has got the 146 marks his rank is two and the student who has got the 121 marks rank is three similarly for electricals you can see the students who have got the highest marks 197 the rank is one the student who have got the second highest marks 161 the rank is 2 and the lowest marks in electrical the rank is 3 so just consider this data set to be of 6 rows here for now our concepts which we will be learning here i'll be applying onto this entire data set and we'll be getting the result so i have written the formula from before you can see here i'm getting the rank value I've used the sum product function now to make this explain you much more better way i'll just open my notepad here and what is this sum product function and how does this work so you can see here i have got here six rows so i'll just take for one row here let us consider this 181 student marks and the rank is we have got here is one so let us see how this this internally it is working and it is calculating the rank as one so i'll just make two arrays here first of all as you can see i have two conditions here and i'm multiplying it this condition with this condition let us see what this particular condition the m6 is equal to uh, this particular thing and i think what this will produce so what is m6 so if you'll see m6 is biotech and into which particular column which into which particular range we are looking for m6 so we are looking for m6 into from m6 to m11 range so wherever i'll be getting m6 that will be marked as one and wherever i'll be getting other than m6 value that will be marked as zero number of rows i have into my data set those number of values i'll be getting so first of all let us see what is the output which this particular thing will produce so m6 in m6 i have the biotech so wherever the biotech will be matched into this particular column i'll be getting one and wherever biotech will not be matched i'll be getting a zero so into the very first row here you can see i am getting biotech so this will be marked as one when the formula will come into this particular cell you can see biotech is there so it will be marked as one similarly formula when it will come here it will see electricals is there so it will be marked as zero because it is matching m6 and into m6 biotech is present similarly it will move to the next row now this row here also electricals is present so it will be marked as zero into the next row biotech is present so this will be marked as one and into the last row you can see electricals is present so this will be marked as zero so this particular thing is sorted out now let us see this particular condition the second condition which is being multiplied with so n6 so what is present into the n6 cell so 181 and it is telling 181 is less than and we have provided this particular condition so when this particular condition will be true we will be getting a 1 and when this particular condition will be false we will be getting a 0 
so let us see how to do this so first of all 181 is less than 181 so it will just check into this entire range so the very first value is 181 it has got so this is false so zero will be present now coming to the second value so 121 is greater than 181 so this is also false so zero will be present similarly 152 is greater than 181 0 will be present similarly 197 is greater than 181 yeah 1 will be present because 197 is greater than 181 so into this particular value 197 will come up but n6 is 181 and that is because we are doing the operation for this particular cell here to get the rank for this particular 181 value so similarly let us check so 146 is greater than 181 false similarly 161 is greater than 181 false this is the final output which we will be getting now after this what is the operation we are doing we are multiplying both of these arrays whichever i'll be getting so let us multiply both of these arrays whichever i've got and let us see what is the resultant answer which we are getting so each of the corresponding number it will be multiplied with each of the corresponding number and that will be summed up so let us see 1 into 0 is a 0 plus 1 into 0 is 0 plus 0 into 0 is 0 plus 0 into 1 is also 0 plus 1 into 0 is 0 plus 0 into 0 is 0 so you can see I have got the resultant sum as 0 and later on I am just adding a one year so i'm getting the rank at the very last year as one so this is how the entire formula product is working similar operation if you'll be doing for all the next rows you'll be getting the answer let us do for one of the rows so i'll just do this for row also so i'm getting here three let us see how i'm getting here three so let us put two arrays here and later on only multiplying also so now biotech is present so it will again check from the very before so now m7 it is showing so m7 will become biotech so into m7 what is present so into m7 biotech is present so this particular m7 will now again check from the very start so biotech is equal to biotech yes now it will come to the second row biotech is equal to biotech yes biotech is equal to electrical no biotech is equal to electrical no biotech is equal to biotech yes and biotech is equal to electrical so it will be no now coming to the second value here n7 so is n7 less than this value so we will again check is 181 greater than 121 yes is 121 greater than 121 no so here 152 would come up so is 152 greater than 121 yes Similarly, is 197 greater than 121? Yes. Similarly, is 146 greater than 121? Yes. And 161 is also greater than 121. So, it will be 1. Now, let us multiply both of these arrays which we have got and let us see what is the answer which we will be getting. So, 1 into 1 is 1. 1 into 0 is 0. 0 into 1 is 0. Similarly, 0 into 1 is 0 1 into 1 is 1 and 0 into 1 is 0 so what is the total sum which we have got here so the total sum which we have got here is 2 and later on I'm just adding 1 to this so the total sum I'm getting here is 3 so that is how we are getting here as 3 so if you do the same thing for all the other rows you will be getting the same answer and you can see the answer which we are getting here is absolutely correct let us apply the same logic here whatever we have done here and we'll be getting our result so you can see first of all I'll just need to provide the sum product and inside this bracket I need to provide all these ranges here so let us see how to do this so I'll just write here some product at the last I'll also add this with one and inside the bracket I need to provide two condition here and I need to multiply both the condition 
let us see what is the very first condition so the very first condition is i need to check this if this is equal to this particular entire range and i'll fix this range here by f4 and i need to multiply this with what so i need to multiply this with this particular thing so this thing should be less than this particular entire range and also i want to fix this range here and that's all and i'll just hit enter so you can see i'm getting the value here so i'll just drag this formula to the very last here control d and you can see all these rank value i have got here so friends this is how you can get the rank value within the department names of the students so friends i hope you had found this video very much interesting so do like this video and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't to receive such kind of useful information in the next video thank you so much bye